was my dad. And what's your name? Bella Christina Young. Bella Christina Young, that's correct. Welcome to Quick Appease, quick little recipes to help get you through your days during this quarantine time. Now, Bellamy, you like risotto, right? Uh -oh. Do you know what these uh -oh. mushrooms are called? Uh -oh. Baby Bellas. Isn't that funny? Okay, so we're gonna make a mushroom risotto. This is a great way, great way for your kids to get some veggies into their diet. So all I'm doing is rough chopping some mushrooms. I'm gonna set them over to the side. Those will shrink a little bit. Then I'm also just gonna dice up some onion. Now, I know what you're thinking. Onion, garlic, mushrooms. Your kids eat that stuff, they absolutely do. These are just very light aromatics that are gonna flavor our dish as we go along. Bellamy, do you wanna throw this stuff in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, start putting it into the bowl. All right, I'm gonna start just chopping up some garlic here. Mom, what did you say for, for me to do with the, what did you want me to say with the mushrooms? What are you doing with the mushrooms? Putting them in the bowl. Yep, you're putting them in the bowl. Okay. Quick little tip, if you don't want your mushrooms to be very chunky, put a little kosher salt on them, give them a rough chop, and then just go like this. Because we don't like to bite chunks of mushroom, do we? Yeah. Or of garlic? Yeah. No, we don't. We want it to become like a paste, right? That way it just... What's a paste? A paste is like this. It means that it's not too chunky. It's just like that, okay? Okay, so very good, Belle. Let's go ahead and throw these into our pot. Now... What we've done is we've gotten our mise en place together. Do you know what mise en place means, Bella? No. Okay, mise en place no. means a place no. for everything and everything in its place. That means we have everything ready to go. So here we've got our mushrooms, we've got our onion. I'm gonna throw our garlic in in just a second after this starts to sweat down. And then here we have got our chicken stock. You can use any type of chicken stock. This is just one of those pastes you buy in the store. I can control the flavor of that a little bit more. I'd be careful with the bouillon cubes though because those tend to get a little salty. So we're gonna season this up with a little bit of salt and pepper and go on from there. Okay, so our mushrooms, onion, and garlic have been sweating now for about just a minute and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of rice in there. Now this doesn't seem like a lot of rice that I'm throwing in here, but this is gonna swell and you're gonna end up, we're gonna end up with a lot of risotto, right Bellamy? Mm -hmm. Belle, who are you dressed as today? Elsa. Elsa? You like the movie Frozen? You do? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and toast this up just a little bit. Belle, is this your favorite risotto? Mm hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't like mushrooms tonight. <laughs> we'll pick yours out, okay? Vi Vi, you like risotto? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. All right. So we're gonna toast this once it gets a little toasted. We're gonna start adding some chicken stock. Now, if you're a vegetarian or you prefer non-meat product, mushroom stock, vegetable stock works just as well. You don't need to put mushrooms in this. This is just what we like in our family. We're gonna stir this and we're gonna keep adding as this kind of starts to go away and evaporate, okay? Stirring on a more than semi basis. You wanna keep this going as much as you possibly can. What do you have the burner set to, Paul? I've got it just set at a medium high heat. I want this to kind of come to a simmer, which it will. And also our chicken stock is hot as well. Okay, so we shouldn't be waiting too long for that. I'm actually gonna turn it up just a little bit. And this also, oh, hold on honey. And then this is also the time where you don't want to sit there and do 20 other things. You want to be glued to this pot. Mommy's coming. You want to be glued to this pot and you want to stir often. Okay, so what we've got going on here is our risotto's working nicely. I'm going rogue. I took the camera because my babies are crying. So we're gonna no, give that a quick I stir. And then what you wanna do, so along with the risotto today is we're making salmon. So people always ask me, how do you make your salmon? Look, I want the fish to shine. Look at these beautiful fillets of salmon. I got salt and pepper, nothing else. That is all. So, hot oil, hot pan. I put the top side down first, I keep the skin on. You can take the skin off. I hope this all fits. Always kind of lay away from you when you're putting in that salmon. That way if it splashes a little bit. Now, I've got a decent amount of oil in here. I want to prevent it from sticking. 
because trust me, this can get really messy really quick. We're gonna wait for that top side to get GBD, golden brown and delicious. So we're gonna flip them over and finish them off in the oven. I've got a 450 degree oven going right now. So uh, we're cooking here. All right, the salmon is looking like it's about to get flipped over. So what I like to do is I always give it a little shake, make sure they're all moving, make sure nothing's gonna stick to the bottom of the pan. Be very gentle. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Look at that. Does that look good? Yeah, you excited for salmon and risotto? Careful, Elsa. Careful, Elsa. Flip these guys over. Look at that. That right there is love. Now, we just open up the oven. Toss that inside. We're gonna let that go for about seven to eight minutes. Now, the reason we keep stirring our risotto, it's time for a little bit more stock. The reason we keep stirring it because we're releasing all the starches in the rice. This is a Borea rice traditionally used for making risotto. And this is a, uh, it's time consuming. It's a painstaking process, but the rewards are unbelievable. That's why you pay so much for it in a restaurant when it's done correctly. A lot of people say you should add, add white wine to this. I'm fine adding white wine to it. I know it's for the kids, but the alcohol would cook off. Basically, I don't have any on hand. This is going to turn out just as well. And we're just going to keep stirring. This should take all together about 28 minutes to cook this risotto. You can start filming right after I put it up. Oh, I already did. Alright, so the salmon's out. What you can do is put a knob of butter in there. All right. Face these guys. Careful, the pan's very hot. It just came out of the oven. And now that guy's done. We'll drain them on a paper towel and finish up our risotto. Okay, so now our risotto is nice and creamy. We're gonna go ahead, don't be scared with the butter. Three pieces of unsalted butter. And always check for seasoning while you're doing this too. Um, this isn't very salty, but I'm adding Parmesan cheese and a decent amount of it. And that's gonna make it very salty as well. Come here, bye bye. Come on, come on, we can stir together, okay? So, let's stir this up. And you want to keep stirring, that way the butter emulsifies into the rice, keeps it nice and creamy. No. All right. Hey, be careful, this is very hot. All right, so, I keep my risotto just a touch loose, because it will bind up on you and turn it blue pretty quickly. So let's finish this off. Put some cracked black pepper. This is daddy's plate, not yours, right? A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Salmon, look at that salmon bell. Doesn't that look good? I wish I could have that big piece for my dinner. Little bit of romesco sauce. What's romesco? Well, I'm happy you asked. That's a mix of roasted tomatoes and roasted red peppers. Why are you putting that on top? Because daddy likes a little onion. And then last but not least, basically what I did is I just thin sliced some, some wonton skin that you can buy in the store. It's like three bucks. Put it in three some oil, bucks. deep fry it. Yeah. What do you call these? You call, you call these crunchies, right? Yeah. You like those? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to put one in your mouth? What's up, Belle? You want to take a taste? Mm. <laughs> is that so good? Awesome. All right. Can you say goodbye to everybody and thank them for watching our video? Say thanks for watching. Are you being shy now? All right. Well, thank you so much from me and mine to you and yours. Enjoy your meals. I hope this recipe finds you well. Stay safe. Here. Here. You want to try the risotto? Yeah. Mmm, is that yummy? Dad, you want yeah. some? Do you want more? Lipstick on you? Dad, you want some lipstick on you? Mmm. <laughs> Dad, you want some lipstick on you? Yes, please. Mm. No, do I just... Do I 
noticed. What? Mom. Mom. No, no, it's not this. It's what? It's this. No.